All right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. This is the Minister M.L. Kimball coming to you live this evening, and we are going to continue our study tonight for our Bible study for the evening. So I want you to pay along, play along with me. Uh, pay attention because tonight I'm going to get into those books that they removed out of the scripture that somebody came along and said that it's no longer canonized or whatever scam they came up with. You got to understand that there was a trick to call the uh, Tanakh the Old Testament so that you would think that everything in the Tanakh is does not apply anymore so that you would think that the law has been done away with. And so that they so they took and took out scriptures. And even though these same scriptures are mentioned in your Bible, right in your face, namely the book of Jasher, uh, the, uh, the book of the uh, War of Lords, there's so many different books that are mentioned in the 66, but you cannot find those books. So today we're going to look at some of the books and I want to show you why it's important that you pay attention to these books because it does not matter what anybody says that they were not inspired who said they were or that they were not inspired who said that these don't apply when they belonged in the book in the beginning so i'm going to share my screen i was able to get my sefer pulled up which is what i really wanted today uh, so that we can uh, really really get after this thing today I want you guys to like, share, and comment on this video. If you have not had a chance to yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel over at Word on the Street Talk TV. That's Word on the Street Talk TV. There will be a link in the description for you to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notifications bell so that you're notified each and every time we upload some new content. I want to thank those that have subscribed. We have in the last month, our last 28 day or 10 days, we've uh, we've uh, our subscriber count went from 12,000 subscribers to 14,000 subscribers. So that's telling me that we're getting this information out and many, many people that are sharing it. I want to thank you. So I'm going to get my Sefer out here and I want you guys to take a look here. Now, there's some books in here that I have access to that you do not. And we're going to take a look at some of these books because I want you to understand that these books all belonged in your Bible at one point. Now, I want you to understand that the book of Baruch is found in the Catholic Bible. If you go to any Catholic church and you ask to see one of their Bibles, you're going to see the book of Baruch in their Bible. Now, why is it in their Bible, but taken out of your Bible and you don't think that it is uh, legitimate? So we're going to take a look at some of what the prophet Baruch said. Just understand that the prophet Baruch was actually... Uh, Jeremiah the prophet, uh, Jeremiah's uh, scribe, secretary. And so he wrote down what the Most High told him to write down uh, when Jeremiah was silenced. Uh, uh, he, he was told through the uh, scribe Baruch to write down every single thing that the Most High wanted to speak through Jeremiah. And you can find this in your Old Testament. So now I'm going to go ahead and just pull up one of these scriptures here. I want you guys to see when you look into the book of Baruch, you'll see that he's talking about some end times and things that we need to pay attention to that a lot of people don't understand that he was talking about. So he was talking about what is going to happen in the last days. And I want you guys to see some of these things that he's talking about. Second group, chapter 15, verse one says, and Yahuwah answered, said unto me, you are rightly astonished regarding the departure of man, but you have not judged well regarding the evils which befall those who sin. And as it regards what you have said, that the righteous are carried off and the impious are prospered. And as, and as, uh, excuse me, as, and as regards what you have said, man knows not your judgment on this account here. And I will speak to you and hearken and I will cause you to hear my words. Man will not rightly have understood my judgment unless he had accepted the Torah and I had instructed him in understanding. But now because he transgressed wittingly, yea, just on this ground that he know thereof, he shall be tormented. And as regards what you did say, touching the righteous, that on account of them has this world come. So also again, shall that which is to come, come on their account. For this world is to them strife and a labor, which much trouble 
with much trouble and that accordingly, which is to come a crown with great glory. So we understand here that there is another mention of a crown in the Torah, but understand that he's talking about the only people that will be able to be eligible for such crown are those that obey the most high and his commandments. So anything else outside of that is a scam. If you are coming to me and telling me that there is a way to water down his commandments and you don't have to obey them and you yet you're still considered saved, you have been bamboozled because everywhere throughout the Tanakh and whatever you want to say, uh, before they came with this New Testament scam, there was always the man the requirement to obey the commands. Uh, second Baruch 17 says, and Yahoo answered and said unto me, with El Shaddai account is not taken of much time nor of a few years. For what did it profit Adam that he lived 930 years and transgressed that which he was commanded? Therefore, the multitude of time that he lived did not profit him, but brought death and cut off the years of those who were born from him. Or wherein did Moses suffer loss in that he lived only 120 years and inasmuch as he was subject to him who formed him, brought the Torah to the seed of Jacob and lighted a lamp for the nation of Israel. So even though Moses did all of that, he still his life was still cut short because of the beginning sin of Adam. So then as you can continue to read here, we're going to read, skip over to verse or chapter 19. He says, and he answered and said unto me, wherefore at that time he appointed for them a covenant and said, behold, I have placed before you life and death, and he called heaven and earth to witness against them. Talking about Moses. For he knew that his time was short, but short, but that heaven and earth endure always. But after his death, they sinned and transgressed, though they knew that they had the Torah reproving them and the light in which nothing could err, also the spears which testify in me. Now, regarding everything that it, it, that is, it is I that judge, but do not take counsel in your soul regarding these things, nor afflict, afflict yourselves because of those which have been. For now, it is the consummation of time that should be considered, whether of business or of prosperity or of shame and not the beginning thereof. Because if a man had been prospered in his beginnings and shamefully entreated in his old age, he forgets all the prosperity that he had. And again, if a man is shamefully entreated in his beginnings and at his end is prospered, he remembers not again his evil entreatment. And again, hearken though each one was prospered all that time, all the time from the day on which death was decreed against those who transgressed and in his end was destroyed in vain would have been everything. So you must understand that these books that somebody said are no longer part of scripture. Who said? And at the end of the day, not only who said it, but who authorized to take them out? And where is that in scripture? If you can't show me why where the Most High said to remove these pieces of scripture out of the Torah, and you don't have to obey them, then my friend, you have been involved with the scam and you better run fast. The Most High said in Isaiah 43 and 11, besides me, there is no other. There is no other savior. There is no other way. And so if you claim to be saved and you want to be saved, then you got to obey his commands. There's no way around it. I don't care what they told you. I don't care who said be baptized and repent and, and, and speak in tongues and all of that. You can do all of that and still be lost because you refuse to obey his commandments. I am the minister, M.L. Kimball. Be blessed on purpose.